Science is changing every day, and sometimes it's way too much to keep up on. Whether it's candle flames producing millions of diamonds a second, or the bizarre reason kangaroos have three vaginas, you've come to the right place for all the best bits. I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 science facts that are sure to amaze you. 25. Colder temperatures reduce inflammation. You might have heard of the benefits of cold showers. They can increase your dopamine, improve circulation, and boost your mood. In a similar way, cold weather can be great for your body too. Lower temperatures reduce the amount of inflammation in your body, just like using an ice pack can bring down swelling. That doesn't mean that you should wait until winter instead of going to the doctor, but if you can withstand the cold, exercising in low temperatures can be really good for your health. 24. Only female mosquitoes bite. There is nothing more annoying than mosquitoes flying around and sneaking in a bite here and there before disappearing again. Well, don't rush to blame all mosquitoes. While male mosquitoes mainly focus on finding a mate and surviving on nectar, it's left up to the females to collect all the nutrients needed to keep producing eggs. Where do they find those nutrients? Well, you guessed it, from blood. So the next time you're swatting away mosquitoes, know that at least it's all going to a good cause of producing more mosquitoes? I'm gonna have a talk with my writer. <laughs> you want more mosquitoes? Cause that's how you get more mosquitoes. 23, the scientific method was invented in the 17th century. Science is such a huge part of our world. It drives technology, medicine, and it's the only reason we can make this video. But what is science really based on? It all comes down to a system called the scientific method that didn't really exist until around the 16th century. This was a time when science first broke away from religion, philosophy, and technology to become its own area. That meant using abstract thinking, making a hypothesis, carrying out experiments, and then studying the results. This process doesn't sound so groundbreaking now, but back then, it was radical. The method led to breakthroughs in astronomy, mathematics, and physics, and the creation of telescopes, microscopes, and thermometers that allow us to look at the world like never before. 22. Clay is used in paper production. How is paper actually made? Sure, you know that it comes from a tree at some point, but do you really know the process? First, wood chips and any other raw materials are cooked, washed, bleached, and dried in a process called pulping. Chemically, this process makes a collection of cellulose fibers into strong chains of hydrogen. After those parts are finished, filling is added in between the cellulose fibers, and then a coating is added. One of those often used is called kaolin, also known as china clay, which is the ingredient that gives it a smooth, glossy, and bright appearance. Who would have thought that making paper was so complicated? 21. A candle's flame is blue in microgravity. If, for whatever reason, you happen to be on a date in microgravity, like floating in space, know that if you manage to light a candle, it'll look a little different. Why? Well, most of a candle's flame on Earth is orange or yellow because it doesn't achieve complete combustion. Also, soot, water vapor, and carbon dioxide are being carried up through the tip of the flame. It's like setting the temperature on a Bunsen burner too low. In microgravity, though, where the Bunsen burner is turned up high, these products are taken out through molecular diffusion. What that boils down to is that the products are diffused much more equally while achieving complete combustion giving it a round appearance rather than a teardrop. 20. Putting sugar on a cut will make it heal faster. These days it feels like sugar is in everything, but maybe it's getting a bad rap. Apart from causing diabetes and health issues, sugar has some positive qualities too. For instance, did you know that you can use it on a wound to help it heal? Sprinkling a pinch onto an open wound can soak up moisture, taking harmful bacteria with it. Some researchers even believe that sugar could one day be used just like antibiotics, and it's surprisingly safe for diabetics. Unfortunately, no, that doesn't mean stuffing your face with chocolate when you have a cut. It's much more targeted than that. 19. F1 drivers lose weight while racing. Ever since Drive to Survive on Netflix, Formula One has gained a massive new fan base. <laughs> and what's not to love? Watching some of the most technical drivers on the planet racing at breakneck speeds, putting it all on the line, sacrificing blood, sweat, and tears. And one of those is sacrificed much more than the others. F1 drivers lose on average between six and eight pounds of body weight every single race. The cockpit can reach temperatures of 122 degrees Fahrenheit, and with a heavy race suit and a helmet on, they sweat a ton. 
Luckily, they have a water bottle attached through a straw on their helmet, meaning all they have to do is push a button to hydrate. And in case you're wondering, yes, they are actually equipped to go to the bathroom during the race too. 18. Saliva can be used to monitor alcohol intake. How do you tell when someone's drunk? You could ask them to balance on one leg or recite the alphabet backwards, but those aren't exactly scientific. For a much more precise answer, there are a range of things you can test, including saliva, with what's called an alcohol swab test. After a drug is processed through the bloodstream, it gets expelled from the body through urine, sweat, and saliva. Armed with a spongy stick into the mouth that might give you pandemic flashbacks, the test results only take a few minutes and are 97% accurate. 17. The flashes of light in your eyes are called phosphenes. When you're feeling tired, do you ever put your hand on your head and just rub your eyes around like this? Well, if you do, you probably know that sensation of seeing specks of yellow light in your vision. Don't worry, there's probably nothing wrong with you because these lights are completely normal. They're called phosphenes, which don't come from any light source. Instead, they appear from either pressure on the eye or through signals from the brain. Another fun fact for you, uh, this is probably where the phrase seeing stars comes from. 16. Your weight is not directly correlated with your health. In a world full of fitness influencers, it's easy to develop body image issues. The first thing many people look for if they feel overweight is their BMI, which stands for body mass index. However, this metric isn't perfect. It's a pretty fairly crude measurement, dividing your weight into kilograms by your height in meters squared, while ignoring almost everything else. It doesn't factor in a ton of different measurements like bone density or muscle mass. Anyone with a BMI over 30 is classified as obese, but some people in that category have better health markers than those in the normal BMI range. The bottom line is that obesity just isn't that simple. 15. Red is the first color a baby sees. Ever look at a baby and wonder what's going on behind their eyes? Apart from a constant need for food, attention, and comfort, they're slowly developing the ability to see colors. When they first come out of the womb, they mostly can only see black and white. Then, over their first month, they begin to see their first color, red. The rest of the colors don't completely catch up until the five month mark, so don't rush too fast to paint their room. 14. One of your bones isn't connected to any others. If you look at one of those full-size skeleton models, there's one bone that's attached a little further away from the others. It's located in the neck, used for swallowing, and is called the hyoid bone. What makes it unique is that unlike all the others in our body, it's only attached to muscles, not any other bones. It's made up of components called the body, a lesser horn, and a great horn. And it's not hard to see why. It looks pretty much exactly like a bull's horns, especially when you tilt your head upwards. 13. A candle creates one million tiny diamonds. When a Chinese professor wanted to get to the bottom of what exactly is going on inside a candle flame, he developed a method to carefully extract tiny particles from inside for the first time ever. What he found was four different kinds of carbon, those being graphite, amorphous carbon, fullerenic particles, and last but not least, diamonds. 1.5 million of them to be exact. But hold on, before you try to cash in your candle flame at the pawn shop, these are all nanoparticles, far too small for the human eye to see. Plus, they're quickly burned in the flames and released as carbon dioxide. 12. Fire moves faster uphill. Now this one is pretty counterintuitive until you think about it. Unlike you and me, fire actually works much more quickly when faced with the slope. Increasing the incline by 10 degrees doubles its speed. How does it work? It's because the land ahead heats up from the fire to lower altitude, making it easier to catch on fire and travel. Alternatively, if a fire is traveling downhill, it isn't really able to heat up the path since heat travels up, so it slows down. 11. Lungs are the only organ that float. Are you one of those people who can lay on your back in the water and float? Whether you can or not, there's one part of your body that always does. Your lungs. That is, as, as long as you're alive. Your lungs are made up of millions of sacs called alveoli, which do most of the heavy lifting by getting oxygen into the blood and carbon dioxide out. Because of these tiny pockets of air, it means the lungs can actually float on their own in water. It's a key way for doctors to determine someone's time of death. They literally put the lungs into water and see if they float. 10. Anosmia is the loss of smells. Freshly cut grass, sautéing garlic, bread, wafting out from a bakery in the morning. These are all amazing smells. And unfortunately for some people, they can't ever detect them. 
That's what the term anosmia means, and it affects almost every part of a person's life. One of the biggest things is that it makes food taste different, since smell is a huge component of taste. Anosmia can be caused by growths inside the nose, harmful chemicals, medications, or simply old age. If you couldn't imagine anything worse than losing your smell and you happen to be a smoker, then now is the time to quit because there is a pretty strong link. I have a friend who can't smell anything. We ate durian together, so I suffered and she didn't. <laughs> There's an old live stream, old list 25 live stream on Facebook where you can actually catch that. It's going to be back from uh, January in 2019. So if you joined our Facebook, you can go back and find it. It's when I was in Singapore. Nine. Eating too many onions makes you sleepy. Struggling to get to sleep at night? Try eating some raw onions. While probably not the most practical advice, there is logic to it. Inside onions is an amino acid called L-tryptophan, which is basically Mother Nature's sleeping chemical. It can help you relax by bringing down your body's stress levels, which is why it's become popular to take in pill form too. Plus, onions contain sulfoxides, which are released after slicing and have been connected with better sleep. But before you go and eat an onion before bed, and just maybe check with your partner first. Eight, nicotine is poisonous to insects. Nicotine is one of the most addictive substances on earth, which is the biggest reason why over 1 billion people are hooked on tobacco. And to give you an idea of just how dangerous nicotine is, if insects are exposed to it, they suffer convulsions, then paralysis, and die in the space of minutes. It's not just insects either. Make sure to keep your pets away from any tobacco products because a dose of around nine milligrams, come here baby, is enough to be lethal to a dog. Just one cigarette has around 12 milligrams. Okay, I don't smoke so you don't have to worry, okay Bella? Say hi to everyone. You were once on a thumbnail. Oop. Seven, a rat consuming plant exists in the Philippines. What's the most effective way to get rid of rats? Poison, rat traps, how about a plant? The Nepenthes northiana found in the Philippines are designed for one thing and one thing only, to catch prey. And unlike most plants, they prefer meat. These plants are collectively referred to as pitcher plants because they grow deep sacks like pitchers to trap animals, even mice or rats. Animals are lured in by the smell of sweet nectar, but if it enters, it's a big mistake. Inside are sticky, moist, waxy walls, making it almost impossible for anything to claw its way out. Then, over days, weeks, or even months, the prey is slowly digested. Six, the little finger contributes 33% of hand strength. Squeeze a ball in the palm of your hand, then try using fewer and fewer fingers. Alternate with different combinations, your thumb and index finger, your thumb and ring finger, and so on. According to research, the most important finger in this exercise is surprisingly the smallest of the bunch, your pinky. For pure strength, leaving out your little finger makes you about 33% weaker. I knew the pinky was for more than promises and drinking like a snob. Five, do other mammals have menopause? Menopause is a big moment in a woman's life. It's when the body stops going through menstrual cycles, meaning the ovaries don't release any more eggs. But it's not only humans that go through it, there are a couple of other mammalian species who experience the same thing, killer whales and pilot whales. Experts believe that the reason is because of the long lifespan of these animals, allowing for the females to become grandmothers and protect the next generation, just like with humans. Interestingly, most mammals actually do have the capacity to go through menopause, it's just that in the wild, it's rare for them to live long enough. Four, female kangaroos have three vaginas. Why on earth would a female kangaroo need three vaginas, you may be asking? That's because of their unique anatomy. The middle vagina is used for giving birth, and the two side ones take sperm from a male kangaroo up to either one of the two uteruses. <laughs> if that sounds excessive, uh, wait till you hear this. Male kangaroos have two-pronged penises. I guess it gives them double the chance. Three, a new kind of bacteria lives in hairspray. Bacteria evolve over billions of years to adapt to almost any conditions. And now one kind has adapted to hairspray. Known as Microbacterium hadenosis, this bacteria thrives inside cans of hairspray, posing new challenges for cosmetic companies. Scientists are now doing research into exactly what kinds of risk this bacteria might carry to avoid a hairy situation in the future. Two, the cornea doesn't use blood. 
The most visible part of your eye is the cornea, which includes the pupil and the iris. But how does it function? What does it run on? In order to maintain as clear vision as possible, it doesn't depend on any kind of blood supply like the rest of the eye. In fact, it's the only part of the body that doesn't have a blood supply. Instead, it takes oxygen from the air, while tear fluid carries nutrients and neurofins to keep it functioning well. Now that's good design. 1. Caffeine makes sperm swim better. If you're having fertility problems, a cup of coffee might be the answer. In a strange experiment that I really don't want to know the context of, researchers added caffeine to sperm to see how it reacted. They found a range of positive benefits, from increased glucose and fructose to a more stimulated movement. In other words, caffeine made the sperm much stronger swimmers. And yes, this does translate into cups of coffee. Men drinking coffee had higher sperm motility. So, what's your favorite science fact? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias, including my personal ones. Links in that description. And for even more science facts, click here to watch 25 weird and random science facts you need to know. Trust me, you need to click it. Have some coffee. And click. Ooh, there's a good. It's not my normal Reese's coffee. This is my uh, Bones coffee. I think it's the Highland. Yep. It's delicious.